<laughs> so, <laughs> so that's the end of the logic. Because you think the straws are going to win at all. It's just you, no. you want to be there to ruin a Maniac's day. But if they do, I at least want the, the victory for Maniac to feel just a little bit bittersweet. That he could I have had it on that. his own, but I'm going to steal half of it. I appreciate that. That'll put you back in the running, too. That would tie you back up again with the rest True. of them. True. Exactly right. All right. Well, here we go. Liquid are on the T side. Astralis are on the CT side. Double nade, actually. Not going to catch anyone, but the smoke is up. They can get the bomb down to the very least. Fallen taking a tiny bit of damage. Planting, I guess, in the secondary spot, more or less. Not the default one. And this is great for Liquid. What a good start right now. Becoming more and more popular, that spot, for the very reason that uh, it's harder to pick you off to get the angle down. And also, you avoid the nades if there's any pre planned nades. Nice shot from Dupree to kick it off, but Fall and only gonna get the one. Yeah, a lot of trading going on. Grim gonna be taking out Lucky Nat for the kill on Bubsky. And it's looking real bad at the moment for any chance at a retake right now. They haven't touched the bomb yet. They have no health. They have a kit. They, I think this is not gonna happen right now. Sip, he's thinking about it, trying to lure more of them into a fight, but I think they've already mentally given up on this round. Naf actually gonna be catching Sip as he tries to fall back. And that's a nice start for Liquid. All of it well executed. They just, they made that uh, work. Like, and, uh, well, you know, as far as the Strolls are concerned, not so hot on this map, so it bodes well for Liquid. It's a good, strong pick to kick things off here. I'm just glad to see Stewie back in form, man. This is one of the best tournaments he's had in a long time. So uh, for him to really just, you know, be out there clicking heads and having a good time, I'm, I'm thinking that Fallen taking a bit more of that responsibility with the IGL role uh, off of Stu, it's finally letting Stu play his game. I feel like it's been a long time. It's not that he's necessarily been outright bad, but... No, uh, well, yeah, but, hit, but the high point for Stewie is really high up there. Yeah. So that's a, that's a problem, right? When you get you actually get compared to your former self at one point, um, and, and people expect for that to return. So I'm happy to see it as well. Not good news for Astralis on any level. They they've had some some really incredible performances from Magus, from Dupree, even from Sip. But they kind of need for all of those to be in the same game here, like in the same map. They can't have them stretched out across you know two maps or something. They they need to all show up and well. do some work. Second map of this series is Nuke. Well, so far we've had a star level performance from Megisk and a star level performance from Dupree on that map. So we can get something different today. Look at this, they're actually catching them in a great position right here. Really good work. There's a Famas up there, which is incredibly exciting for the second round. Hard to imagine how they could have got that, but they did. Bubski with a kill, taking down Grimm, and he's going to fall. But the Famas, it won't get the job done. Dupree kind of weirdly getting caught in that position. That looked really awkward, like he was trying to back off, but couldn't really find the safe position. And now it's on Megis with the Deagle. And no random shots connecting this time. That, that, that was a very, very dangerous engagement. And Astralis definitely could have won right there on that ramp, but not quite enough. No, it's been, uh, it's been a bit... It's a, I mean, you just have the superior firepower from the rifles, and you've got Naf who doesn't really get flustered in situations like that. So, Liquid, you're going to have to really catch them off guard, and you probably needed that third guy to really just swing in with the rest of them yeah. there. But because we didn't see that, we see uh, Liquid just getting out of this. No problem at all. Three rifles saved, and now we get to go into the next round here where Astralis is going to be... Yeah, they could do some damage in this round. Unlikely to win it, but... Um... You never know what the people is. Exactly. Oh, wait, did they flip the cone perfectly up there? Ah, uh, We have to keep track of this. Yeah. We need the video. The, the cone people. cam. Cone flipping is really an art. Um, yeah, but, you know, at least when you're at, like, a party or something, you're flipping cups, then there's, like, a happy ending to that sort of thing, right? It makes it makes for some excitement. What's Where's the excitement with cone flipping, Anders? I think that it's more pure than just party tricks. Like, it's that's why I'm saying it's, like, an art. It's, like, you have to... You have to appreciate just the aesthetic of it on its own. Oh, I see. The reward is... If people were cheering, it's like in tennis. You don't want people clapping all over the place, right? You got to be gotta be measured, more refined than conflict. I can see your nose is just pointing higher and higher. As you make the, as you describe this, the, the cup flipping plebs can go away. <laughs> Grim has uh, has gone now, but he he did almost take Bumsky with him. Fallen, random damage for the smoke. Why not? And he's going to go straight for the bomb plant. So Liquid, in spite of being uh, a, little, a little bit tagged up here, I think they're fine. They managed to recover the situation just fine using the smoke for the plant. And the liege almost almost looked like he wanted to go hunt, but don't do that. Don't give away the AK. It's not worth it. Yeah, at least it's just the hitter in this tournament so far for Liquid. I really, every time you've watched Liquid recently, in recent times, it feels like it's a Liege who's just leading the charge and really just carrying a lot of what this team is doing on his back. 
127 rating so far in the tournament, only trailing behind Zywoo. <laughs> Did he just so. pre-fire the wall only for Bubsky to walk in? It's, you know, Bubsky's just, unfortunately, Bubsky just has that luck. Bought on land. In the Royal That's Arena is on the line here. Yeah, it's mega important, right? And uh, you, as everyone has been quick to point out, including us, Astralis, they definitely want to make it into the Royal Arena. Tickets are obviously available, so you guys <laughs> must, you must come, you must, you know. Come. Astralis really want to make it into the Royal Arena, but you know the Blast really, 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 really want Astralis to make it. So all of the Blast production crew right now are just going to be cheering. Right, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Please, do it. Ooh. ooh. Although... At the end of the day, I don't know the way that Fallen is doing. Like you said, that like I, I just, I just Fallen as well. I mean, I, this is the best. It's I mean, it feels like Liquid are really starting to hit their strikes. This is the best they've performed, and on what feels like a long time, individually and as a team, Fallen is up there as well with the strong performance on that op. Just exciting times here for the North American Hope. Fifty-five seconds on the clock. Still a four on four here. Elise is down, Sip is down, they're on that A ramp, but there's no way that Astralis can know that. They've, they've started to lean over here. I don't know if uh, if Dupree was checking or anything over at B before he left. Fallen takes a lot of damage, but he can just keep ducking, and that does make it a really advantageous fight. Stewie catching Magus. He's going to be so upset. He actually probably doesn't need to commit that hard to the rotation. Knife out running with his back turned to middle. He probably could have done that with, with you know a little bit more grace. But now, yeah, they should probably save the rifles here. I don't think it's worth going for the two-on-four retake at the B-bomb site. Man, it was so little time, though. You kind of wish. With 15 seconds, that bomb is getting planted. If somebody could have just been lurking around here, things could have got interesting. But you're right. Best to back off and save the AWP in particular for Lucky, uh, who at least is able to get a few kills on the board here. I'm glad that uh, Banks was able to catch up with Zonic going into this match and get a little bit of insight into how the team is handling, you know, and how Lucky is handling that pressure playing for Astralis. I mean, pretty sure we saw that from Dupree as well, a tweet from him saying that, uh, you know, he's got a lot of ground to cover. Yeah. And so we need to be a bit patient with Lucky. But at the same time, it is Astralis after all. And if you're wearing that Astralis jersey, expectations are high, so... Lucky will need to step up. Yeah, I've, you know, I, I'm fine with, I'm fine with waiting. I don't, I'm not in a hurry. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't really mind. But obviously, their facility in uh, Dang the land. Yes. Yeah, we do like the the land setups for uh, for playing these these kind of games. Let's make it a little bit more interesting. Four and zero in the favor of Liquid. Gotta say, pretty pretty powerful start right now. Astralis have not really found the rhythm yet on Vertigo, although it is or it's still pretty early days. They managed to save the guns. They brought Deagles behind it. Nice shot from Lucky to take down Grim. And he's going to fall straight back, which I like to see. Cool stuff. No point in sticking around for a second kill there. Oh, this is big from Stu, though. No way. Him falling off? Is that intentional or not? I don't I want to say that's, a, that's just a slip, but... Um, I want to say it's a gaff. It'd be cool if it was. It's like, I'm going to bait him out. That is so sick. He gets that info, though. And now Meg is falling way back. A little bit of presence here. Yep, Bubsky's managed to sneak his way down the ladder, so there will be a quick flank coming through. But Liquid are about to fully commit to this B site, and, it, I mean, nobody's here. Magus is rotated off. There's a huge opening here for Liquid to take advantage of. The smoke's down and everything else. It's, uh, oh, actually, that is a lot of damage onto the strange times. A little bit of a flank coming in. Elyse goes down. Oh, a little bit awkward for Liquid. They actually had the whole bomb site to themselves. Bobski with a stolen gun taking down Naf. And now it's a two on four. And that bomb is only just planted here. There isn't a kit right now picked up. Falling going to be taken down to Pre. Sets up for a second angle. Stewie trying to take over where Fallen left off and drops Magus. Now it's a two on two. And I think they've got it locked down here. Nice shot from Lucky. Actually, a little bit of a wall bang shot. But again, without the kit, it's 10 seconds. They have to hold on. One guy defusing, another guy covering. Fallen goes straight for it. He actually pre aimed it, but Sip is there. What a headshot. Full AKs across the board. You like to see it. And they have still some money in the bank liquid. Even if this round were to go south, they could probably probably still make it a little bit uh, annoying for Astralis to have to play against. No one actually putting any pressure on the B bomb site, which is interesting. I feel like most teams on the T side at least want to pretend a bit to do something. Now setting up for an interesting Molotov. All right, all the way back there. And actually, that burns the leash quite a bit. 
but Lucky got the worst of it. Yeah. How does what what was going on there? Well, like perhaps Lucky was looking the wrong spot, wrong time. Regardless, it's the man advantage for Liquid. And Liquid are just sussing this out. They're figuring out what the pattern is going to be over here because it feels like it's always just on this A ramp. It's always getting these smokes down and then trying to play around the smokes, trying to get clever with the lurks. Bubsky getting caught by Grim. And it looked like Grim knew what that was. The second he saw the smoke go down, he's like, wait a minute. Okay. So somebody's going to walk around that angle for a second here. And yeah. Save the guns. I think they're already just saying, you know, if for whatever reason they go back to B, then we have got three people here. But if not, it's not worth it. Zip's going to hear all these nades going off, and that should be a pretty clear indicator. So Bomb is going to get planted. I mean, that really is the meta of Vertigo, is just A ramp, posting up early on the A ramp, seeing which smokes are going to go down. And then it just turns into the spray fights through the smokes, trying to figure out the pattern how is the defense setting up how's the offense setting up can you do some damage can you catch somebody lurking through and uh that's going to be the developing meta over uh this half the remaining 10 rounds or nine rounds now yeah interesting to see when the astralis want to try and contest the ramp because we've seen teams in the past that are very aggressive at putting two cts bottom mm -hmm. of the t of that ramp over at the a bomb site really trying to see if they can you know can just stop the t side from even getting there but they're losing all the guns on top of it. Debris in a little bit of trouble too. Jumping around, he's gonna catch one. But if he's waiting on the uh, birth of his first child, which is why he's not playing right now. So he needs to be Johnny on the spot, ready to run. Yeah. Good. Uh, good on him. Times. Congratulations. Leash just ready. Not quite see anyone over the smoke, but MP9 up there for Sip could be could be fun if they get a bit closer. Leash just posted up here. Not finding anyone, and they're outside of the B-bomb site too, on the liquid side. Grim and Stewie, two-man team to try and do whatever they can. And this is, I think, is a really basic approach that Liquid have right now, right? They spend the first first while just searching things out and, if, you know, looking for any kind of entry or anything, and they have plenty of time for it. It's it's almost like time is just slower on Vertigo. Even if you're down, on other maps, if we see sub 30 seconds, we get real nervous, but on Vertigo, you could do a lot for 30 seconds. Mm. Bobski, is he gonna find out? He really wants the information about whether or not oh. someone is here. <laughs> that smoke again. Yeah. If he keeps showing up around here on the smoke, I mean, they're gonna start playing around that here, Liquid. Uh, and he, it's, it's gonna be hard for him to avoid getting caught. And now Bobski's rotated back around to that site. He is alone on A. Zipnix is playing around mid right now, but it's still a rotation time for him. If Liquid excel accelerate onto this site, there isn't a whole lot to stop him. Yeah, it's never a good sign when you're when the plan B is. I, I sure hope I get some eagle shots through the smoke. Yeah, That's, I mean, you can, and we all laugh when it happens, but it's obviously not a real plan for uh, for, for winning a round. So I don't know. Again, very calm, very just methodical work coming out from Liquid here. They, I mean, I think that actually all three of them, when Bobski was inside the smoke, were aiming at it. They were sort of ready for it. He was just around the corner a little bit too quick. All right, that's Magus picking up his first kill. Catching now for the flashbang from Lucky. Tapping the bomb to try and force some people into a fight. They're gonna get a headshot. This is actually interesting, but it's a 10 second defuse. Stewie is on his own. Now down to five seconds. He's trying to edge it out and he goes down. I can't believe it. How are they able to win these rounds when they can't win any? Wondering if this is just due to spawn. Could well be. He's in position for it. He can't really see if they're on down below. He does try to get the flick. That's it. Again, he almost had him through. It's actually scary. Sip goes down, and now he realizes someone is close, but Dupree still able to get the headshots. Do he actually have the right read on that scenario? Elige himself is very low on health, down to a single point. Which, I must reiterate, it's all you need. Yeah. The rest is just if you're lazy and you're not good enough. Exactly. You need the buffer trying to hold your hand. Oh, but Dupree. Talk about a bold play when he knows the EWP is posted up close like that. Holding that angle. Lots of little weird angles like that on Vertigo, though, where it's yes. just a, it's just the head showing or even just the tip of the head, you know, so that's a hard shot to hit. And, well, they're about, you know, talk about another rad angle. Yep. And he's playing the off angle at, at already, like, at the weird angle. He's actually playing slightly outside of this of the sandbags because Grim was checking for it, right? So in Grim's mind, he's like, okay, he's not playing that angle. Then he takes another step, and he's still there. I'm really enjoying annoying. this, though, Anders, because I like this new studio setup here we have here at Blast. 
uh, because we kind of have our own little audience, right? Whenever a big play <laughs> like that goes off, I just hear Maui and Lawners and like those guys shouting in the background, so it's great. Like I was like, yeah. That's I'm right. telling it feels you, like there's a little bit of an audience going on here. We need the green room camera. Yeah, seriously, that'd be good. That'd be good stuff. Put him in a little, you know, little, you know, like a little confined space, and so we put like a little webcam in there. It could be fine. And watch maniac. Uh, Iron his shirt. What? That's exactly right. Smokes are going up all over the place, and now I am worried about the time. I said your time moves slower on Vertigo, but 13 seconds? That's cutting it real close. Magus dropping the bomb once, and Naf able to pick it up, but only seven seconds left. Elise with a kill. Four seconds now, well, they could do it. We'll have time, and that's on real Dupree. Not quite sure. The grenade would definitely kill Elise, but how do you find him? He's right in front, and they know he's up there. No, they don't. Elise, he's going to get the kill anyway. Trouble as well, but. Good news, they even have some decent aids behind this, which is incredibly important on Vertigo for any kind of retake. Not always easy to manage holding on to enough nades so that you can actually defuse that bomb. Zip, random shots through, dangerous to take that step all the way out. There is an AWP on Fallen on the other side. Assuming that I've missed casting this Fallen. Been too long. He's so aggressive. Yeah, one of my favorite AWPs of all time. Lucky goes down, walks right into the shot, and they just explode onto the side. There is really no delay. The sig the, as soon as they know, oops, the bomb is already down and, and the whole bomb side's wiped out. Sort of a different approach to the one that you're talking about where you're, you know, hanging back and shooting through the smoke, right? This one, you just have no warning, and that's very cool to see. Fallen gonna take down Dupree, just spotted him out, and Grim will be there to catch Bubsky, leaving Magus. One versus four, only for a second at least. They're on the bomb side. Just smash people with it. Throw that rebar like a spear. There you go. Death. Oh, Stewie catches Vegas. That's got to feel good for Stu. Yeah, right. Oh! Whoa! I he, he was jumped. I think he just clicked jump when he died. Midair. That's pretty aggressive. Right. Sick back and forth. But that's all the nades used up for Astralis. But then again, they've got deagles. So uh, these are, this is actually, uh, odds are good for Astralis to win this round. So far, it's, based it's, on what we've seen this uh, in this first half. I was going to say, we have a pretty limited sample size, but you're right. They, these are the rounds that they've been winning. Sip will take a kill right there. Back into a three on three. Nades come raining in. And this is how Liquid should be winning a round like this, right? Just b carpet bomb the whole bomb site. Get the bomb down and then don't lose the after part, which has been easier said than done. Grim. Ooh. Fallen is freaking out. He just got shot twice through the smoke. Yeah, he's not happy. He's like, wait, where, where can I put something between me and them to stop this from happening? Well, he's nicely covering the one side there. His teammates are real far back. And again, because it's a 10 second defuse, they already need to move and get in here and try and put some pressure on Liquid or they're gonna lose the round just a time alone. So, and Liquid cleverly are so far back that they're almost impossible to find. They're gonna tap the bomb, try and put some pressure on. It's just not gonna be in time. Naf with a nice little double spray and he saw Dupree, he knows that he's back there. So Liquid this time, not gonna get pushed out of it. Fallen though, very low on health in the back. Let me just live a little bit more aggressive in some of these early rounds. I really want to try and see if they can take some of the initiative away. Because right now, it's a bit of a mixed bag of whether or not they win the opening battles. But even if they do, they still end up losing the rounds. So. You got that right there on a ramp, Anders. You saw Lucky and Zip getting out there, putting some nades in there. Lucky with that one shot down the ramp just to let him know. So there's a bit of presence. Liquid changing it up, though. That's the bomb. It's already committed, so everyone can start to rotate. It's on the wrong side. They definitely know what's coming next. Very tricky for Stewie and Elise to get close enough to pick up the bomb. Magus is going to go down, but he did a fair job. Fallen, though, in the middle to drop Sip, and just like that, Lucky is on his own. That spiraled out of control really quickly, and he's around it. We definitely must have heard that. Sees it, but it's not going to be... It doesn't really appear to be working at all. That's an nice HE, though. Some spicy, uh, some spicy uh, bombardments going on there towards the B side of the map. And Naf getting chunked as well, so they got to be a little bit careful here, because again, against the Deagles now, they are vulnerable, Team Liquid. Once you start getting tagged up, it's going to start getting a bit scary. 9-2, to though, on the T side of Vertigo, though, for Liquid. I mean, this is a one-half as, as, as far as Liquid are concerned so far. Yeah. Already, this is a tremendous start to the series for them. Yeah, right now, they, they just want to keep this up. Don't get too excited. It, it's always a bit weird if you said if you feel like all right you, you've done it and then you let go of five rounds or something like that so no point in doing that just uh just keep it cool and continue to do what's working switching up towards the b bomb site seems to be a good choice they're going to take down magus and everyone else is just too far away to do much of anything 
So, bomb will be planted here, Elige. Don't walk off the ledge. It's embarrassing when it happens. But also funny. But also funny. Nice. Oh. I see. There's the bigs. Giving it away. Nice flash. Opening it up, Bobski. Speed. He actually did a lot of damage. I feel like Astralis have not, they're not played all the rounds the exact same, but it, I'm not seeing a lot of really creative stuff here coming out from them either. Sip and Lucky are a little bit more aggressive there. Sip barreling down the A ramp. He's trying to see if he can maybe catch them, and we will take down a liege. And that's good enough. Fall back. Job done. You've taken some control away from Liquid and put some go. pressure on them. I like it. And you know that, okay, with Zipnix there, he's been holding mid a lot. Would be a bit of a. Would be a bit of uh, an ask, though. Yeah, Bobski. Gonna find a kill. This is looking good here for Astralis. Yeah, nice one-two punch. You see one guy falling back. The other guy's ducked behind the sandbags. You, you're not gonna expect for that to be the case. Fallen, though. Could have had that kill. This is where the legendary Astralis discipline really should kick in. It should just be on the backbone, right? They don't give this round back. Lucky with a nice kill. Fallen is somewhere on the map. They don't know where yet, but... um. Yeah, just don't don't give him a chance here. Ooh, nice flick. That was fast. That was fast. If he can kill three here. Maybe even get the bomb pop. That'd be fun. No way Dupree peeks though. Yeah. Dupree's just gonna wait for his teammates. Just the, ooh. Are you kidding me? No way. Fallen! Right into it. Gonna go for the bomb plant. Still another two players left. It's a one on four, by the way. Nade on top, and Lucky will catch him using the AK instead. Probably a smart choice in that moment. They must have known that he was at least a little bit tagged up. So there we go. But that was, you know, still scary, all things considered. And a bomb plant. I mean, that'll give them. Everybody's pulling their weight. Everybody's hitting shots. Everybody's getting a chance. Yeah, that's nice. It's it's so comfortable when no one is feeling the pressure of, you know, if I mess up the crown, uh -huh. then we're probably not gonna win it anymore. That's not what's happening at all. Can't say the same for Astralis. No, oh, they just need, they need to do so much. This first map, oh! <laughs> there you go. He tried that a number of times already, and then if you're Sip, a good thing is Sip's not gonna be emotionally impacted by that situation, he's like. Oh. Yeah, Zip, emotion, what? I miscalculated. <laughs> Magus is about to have similar emotional experience from just the army that's coming his way. Elise flanking to his right, and he's going to be taking him down right away. He wanted to if he can get it off. That It's going to put some pressure on them, actually, inside of the smoke. I don't know if he saw them jumping. Now he definitely does. They're coming through, and that's a little bit too early. Elise didn't reload, and he has another couple of bullets to take down Bubsky. Now it's a two on four with the bomb already down. This is looking so incredibly good here for the 14th round. They're going to be backing out 11 rounds on the board for Liquid. It's utterly brutal, Anders. They're just grouping up as five, whether it be on A side or B side. Liquid right now have done a very good job of just grouping up as five and just smashing into the site all together at once. So you lose Stu, it's looking promising, right? Oh, yeah, we lost Stu. Okay, just if you can keep trading, it's like you don't get the chance because then you have two, three AKs just focusing in on each target one after the other. There's nowhere to hide if you're a strongest. Oh, lucky now. Odds of him holding on to this uh, AWP. I don't know. Grim is also coming in from the other way. Bombs now just going up. I don't know. They might have five seconds to do this. What can we do here? There's some mid aggression coming through, but this has fallen. Really trying to punish those early nades, early peaks from Astralis towards B. They've picked up on that idea so far. Liquid that uh, Astralis have really been trying to show presence over here towards this B side early. And it's been Stewie who's been dealing with the majority of that uh, pressure, but Fall on this time, kind of showing presence all around the map. He's trying to guess for Sip or someone else down here again. Interesting times. Not finding anyone in that moment. Double setup outside of B, leaves Lucky alone in the middle. It's a very stretched out kind of setup here for Astralis, which it's only really a problem if Liquid do what they did earlier, which is walk all the way to the bomb site and then just explode onto it. If they do the, the sort of more default way of setting up all the nades and getting the smokes down, then Astralis could probably rotate some people over here. So, yeah, and they are kind of already signaling a little bit. So the pre is falling back. Magisk is pushing the stairs and I don't know. Let's see if Liquid can make this work. Gotta be careful. We're putting on some pressure. That's pretty good. That actually pulls the pre back. Mm-hmm. Now he's thinking about it, but we're going to get that uh, consolidation once again. This is what Liquid has been so good at in this first half. 
Grouping up as five, Death Ball approach straight onto the bomb site. And there's going to be a wall of smokes in front of them there. So Molotov's on the CT side, which I don't think they can stop the bomb with, but maybe they could go for it in the upper part. It probably is more worth it. Bobski's burning alive, forced out into that AWP. That's so unfortunate. They'll get Stewie through the smoke. I guess that's something to work with. Liege also taking a lot of damage, trying to get that bomb down in the corner, but the Molotov did actually catch him a fair bit there. Magus on the flank, he's already been discovered, and more people are coming to check him out. He knew that. He actually heard that. Heads up play for Magus to see Grim coming. That's not bad at all. Bomb is planted, but it is a two on three. Elige, low on health, and Naf hiding back here. He's got the bomb in sight here. If they have another grenade, maybe they get rid of him, but I think they've thrown all of them out already, so not quite going to happen. Now it's Naf turn. One versus three. They don't quite know where he is. They're going to tap it, but he's actually calling that bluff a bit. That's a nice attempt. Instead of going straight for it, he just gave them another couple of seconds there to make a mistake, but they didn't. It's going to be 11 4 at the end. It is a bit of an uphill struggle at the moment. It's no doubt about it. It's certainly uh, not looking good for him after this tremendous start to the series from Team Liquid. Ooh. I mean, if you can hit the ground running here with a strong pistol round on the T side, it could bode well for Astralis. Meg is trying to make it happen. He had a very quiet start to the first half. Yeah, but look at him. He actually ended at 10 kills. I mean, from, from 0 to 10, that's kind of cool. He's going to get another kill on Liege while they are flanking from middle into the B bomb site. This is a very cool pistol round, especially because Meg is staying alive. He's got everyone else preoccupied, and he's going to take one more kill. Tries with a clock. He's out of bullets. Otherwise, he would have had fallen as well. Magus almost just fought and brought down all of Liquid on his own on that A-bomb site. <laughs> oh, it's... Uh, and now Bubsky gonna find one and no, this is where the second player is. This is it. So, nice pistol round coming up for Astralis. Good on them. Got that bomb planted and this was just a get... Comes and goes different seasons of what's popular. 11 to 5. 17th round. Now, the problem for Astralis in the first half were a few of them, but one of the big ones was winning consecutive rounds, which they didn't really do. Wasn't a thing they practiced at all. They need to do that here. A lot. Liege taking some damage. They have a lot of smokes, actually. That's interesting for Liquid. Shots going through. And yeah, quite a few smokes to play with. So, I mean, smokes and deagles, if that bomb gets planted, could give them a chance. Nobody has a kit, unfortunately. So it would be just the craziest draws if you if anything magical were to happen here. Curious to see if they can reproduce the same results. Wallbang attempt, nothing coming from it. I mean, it also works if Astralis play so slow that they suddenly you have to run through some of those smokes themselves. I mean, there you go. There's one blocking it off. Yeah. Another one being used, so they are kind of out of smokes now. Single flashbang on Fallen, but everyone is at this uh, A bomb site. Enough kill for Magus. He's going to be happy with that. Out in the open a bit. Fallen goes down. I think Magus has a read on yeah, where Naf is, but the Deagle rings true. Stewie. My name for that one, but I don't know. They did some damage made going into the series that Liquid seemed to be much more of a uh, CT side and team where they get a lot of the majority of the work done. All right, so for them to get <laughs> 11 rounds in the first half on their T side, I think it bodes pretty well for them going forward here in this half. So there's no reason for Liquid to get flustered just yet. They really should just be uh, starting to hit their stride here. Oh no, the wall bangs are coming through, and they're just gonna clean this round up. That's fine, no problems. A little bit of an attempted gamble coming up from Liquid, hoping to catch, uh, you know, the Astralis team, but they decided to shoot for the wall. It's unfair, isn't it? Oh, Elise is going to be catching at least the one kill. Press if he wants to be with it. So far, going to be setting up a smoke on ramp fall, and then he falls all the way back to the B bomb side. That's interesting. Yeah, nothing doing. <clears throat> Fully expecting some early aggression towards B. It looks like. But yeah, only just now going to start getting back over here, trying to set it up. If they actually swing into the B-bomb site from middle, Fallen is going to have to be quick at spinning around, and those are going to be some close-range shots, although they do fall all the way back. I guess if you're Liquid right now, you could be reading this as, wait a minute, they Molotov middle? They could have left someone in here, and until we go check, it's very hard to know whether or not we're going to get shot in our back, so... 
theoretically, yeah, this could be a stressing. Yeah, look how many people are in there. That's four people for Liquid that went to check middle just to be sure that no one was hanging around and lurking in the middle. But they do it before Astralis execute onto the bomb site, so this can actually work. Zip well, heard all that, that as well. Zip was standing right under all those guys stomping around, so he knows that there was movement. Now they're trying to figure out, was it on this side or not? Tree goes down, fallen back in position from that little mid skirmish. 35 seconds on the clock, and all the way to the back beam, it's going to be grim to go down. And that's up close, and he's just catching them one at a time as they come through. Not enough flashes to set up that kind of a play, fallen missing a flick, but he's going to hit the next one. But uh, Naf was able to save the day and make up for uh, the fact that he wasn't able to get anything done. Liquid on 12 rounds now. And we'll get that early smoke blocking off ramp. Scoot getting chunked, and a lead caught by Zip. Again, just the meta. Shots through the smoke on ramp. It's always going to be the guessing game. Here we go. A little bit of a double setup, different angles, and it works. Double from us. They were stood on top of each other, making it real hard when you pick that corner to uh, to know who to aim for. Hmm. I like that flash back over toward B as well, in case that was a split. They were ready for it. And in the meantime, it is going to be yep, a skirmish here. A nice shot from Fallen. Whoop. He kind of a little bit quick oh, on the next one. Meg is not even going to face him. Just shoots him through the box. That's a good idea. And he's very aggressive. Catching one. Could have caught the other one. Vermas down to 51. Lucky versus Naf. He's going to go straight for the bomb plant. And Naf is actually thinking about sneaking through. There's a pretty big gap there. But Lucky's made it back around the corner. And that... Oh, he's actually sticking around. I thought maybe he'd keep going. Because that's a, such a safe position to be in. But he's actually trying to see if he could play a little bit of a mind game here against Naf. Obviously, a huge difference in experience between these two players. It's going to be hard to catch Naf out almost no matter what. He's checking it. Not sure if he's actually fallen back, smoking it off on the one side, but it's going to be right on top of the bomb. That's a pretty good smoke. He's realizing it now, maybe, but Lucky will still take him down. That's going to build a little bit of confidence there for Lucky. He's been taking some flack uh, given his performance so far this tournament, but that was a must-win round for Astralis. Finally, a touch going their way. Oh, no. Bobski getting a run to Priest. Gotta be careful. He's not. Yeah, if you stick around. <laughs> Do we get a deagle around for Liquid now? You, if you're Astralis, that just can't happen, right? Because actually, look at the look at the scoreline right now, eight to twelve. That's totally winnable if you're Astralis. That that's not that much of a difference. But if you let go around like this, oh, it's gonna take all the momentum away. You're not gonna have the cash to buy. So it probably won't even just be thirteen eight. It'll probably be fourteen eight. And at that point. Yeah, it's real rough, so they they really can't allow them to steal this one away. AK, though, speaking of stealing, Stewie's already picked that one up. Now they're going to try and see if they can boost over the smoke. They're waiting for the flashes to go away. Oh, no, he, <laughs> he, lost, he lost his chair. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's not looking good here. I was no. going to say, there must be balance in the forest, right, Anders? You know, you guys get a deagle forest, we get a deagle forest, got to trade back and forth. Now, however, oh, Grim putting the pressure on. I, I think that's going to be the extent of it. Not a whole lot that Nav can hope to do here in a 1v3. And Stu's already backed off to the B side to save that AK, so. Yeah. Oh, if we get a second AK for Nav. Oh, that's a huge win for Nav. Yeah, especially on that CT side. I must point out that Magus went from having zero kills to having... He's leading the board on the server right now. He's a 21. He's overtaken everyone on Liquid as well. Yeah. Absolutely outrageous, isn't it? I mean, he's had such a good tournament so far. It's actually been really impressive to see. Yeah. At least you make it. Interesting. Dance on the dance. All right. Well, 22nd round. Fallen and Bubski exchanging a little bit of damage. And again, a pretty interesting lean early on towards B and mid. Perhaps sort of challenging Astralis a bit, saying, you guys don't tend to go fast A, and we'll, we'll, we'll expect for you to not to do that for a while. They give up the mid control just a bit now, though, as time moves on. It looks like Astralis could go pretty quick towards the B bomb site if they want to. Molotovs, flashes, they catch him out in the open. He could have been dead already, Grim. And now comes the wide swing. Dupree's hiding back here. Grim has no idea. That is a very nice move for Dupree. He clears so deep into the bomb side, though. Naf will still take him down. Naf's got to be careful. That smoke is going to evaporate at one point, and then he's in trouble. He gets a parting headshot, taking down Lucky. That might have been the best possible move right there. And now 
they built a tower in the corner. That's that's a huge vantage point that they've got up there. Magus is going to get dropped. He was really bold out in the open, and now it's on Sip with a Mac 10. One versus three. It looked like for a minute there, Astralis just wanted to fight aim battles one at a time, and I'm not sure why. Where are the guns? Did they all blow out down towards the pedestrians? Ah. I think Sip is thinking there must be an AK somewhere, but there isn't. This is definitely not a fair fight at all. You look at the firepower meter. He still picks up a headshot. The other two have head armor, though. Fallen low on health, obviously, but he's going to fight them out there. He gets fallen as well. Stewie's now on the other side, and surely a fight that he can win. Pulling back now, Anders. They need to halt Liquid at 13. If they let Liquid get up onto 14, it's going to be so brutal. But uh, if Liquid win this round decisively, it's going to be so difficult for Astralis because then they're going to be in this weird eagle kind of force by round for Astralis. So a lot of pressure on Astralis on this round. Just... Yeah. I actually thought they would have even less money, so I'm kind of surprised they were able to put this round together. But I think that's also... It's a calculated move from Astralis at this point. Just thinking, mm -hmm. if we go 14-8, that's not leaving enough space for us to try and win the map. But if we can upset them here with Galil's... Well, then, sure, we go right back into it. Can they manage to get past Fallen here? A little bit of noise being made. Oh, nice angle. He peeks right into it, and Stewie. Actually, he made some noise, I think, dropping down Stewie. But I guess Magus didn't, didn't register that maybe that was the position. I mean, fair play, it's hard to do. Some spam coming through just before they boost up. Unfortunate on the timing there. Dupree now just ready and waiting. Do they have a Molotov? Lucky's got one. So if they set it up, maybe, maybe it's doable. He's so deep in the bomb site. Naf is going to be there. Yeah, that's the problem. They needed more nades to clear out some of those positions. They didn't have them sip though. Pretty good aim right there. He's got him boxed in. Two on three. They need another battle, but Liquid are playing this so well. In terms of the team play, he's just calling in for backup. Instead of trying to take a fight on his own, Sip gonna go for the wide swing, but he can't get back around the box, and now it's on Bobski. Goes right in the stupid pop-off map on it. Dupree has had a pop-off performance, so I'm excited to see Nuke with Astralis here coming up next. That's gonna be fun. Tough round ahead of the Danish side. Couple of Tech Nines, a CZ, some Deagles. They won some of these rounds when they were on the CT side, but right now they, they do anything to try and pick up a round like that. Wow, that is a... You don't have a lot of time to get that shot. Fallen so quick still with those kind of... Uh, Too spread out, shots. Just looking for duels. Astralis just hoping to find duels everywhere, and not this time. Unfortunately with the Deegs, not this time. It's Dupree and Lucky left. <laughs> ah, Dupree with the Deagle, man. He's just too good. Yeah, that was smooth, wasn't it? But yeah, two on four. And they should be fine. Again, Liquid. They read it. They see what's coming. The fact that it was a boost means they definitely know. But I would feel like we definitely could have done so much more here. We just never gave ourselves a chance by, by having such a terrible first half, which is no fun. Well, they've already changed it up again, although they did leave Dupree lurking towards B alone. Four of them have grouped up Astralis, so... They are ready to go popping through. Yeah, they are. Fallen, he's got a lot of firepower there to back him up, so... Oh no! He's setting up the nade as he's getting caught with his pants down. Flash... I actually think that flashed the leash, otherwise he was going to peek behind it. He still will. Going to pick up the one, because... Yeah, just continuing the spray. Dupree there, again. very late. Again, Dupree with the dig, though. Why not? He's just going to get his pound of flesh, you know? He gets that one kill around with that dig. And now leaves himself a lot of time to play with. He's got more than a minute left on the clock. No smoke, though. Can he find a smoke somewhere? Oh, they double up on him. This is so dirty. Even if he gets one of them, it's going to be tricky to continue. And Grim will take 